What's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. Have you ever been editing video footage of your client and realized that their teeth is not as white as they would like? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you an easy hack and tutorial using Final Cut Pro 10 on how to whiten teeth with no plugins necessary. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a teeth whitening tutorial in Final Cut Pro 10 using no extra plugins. Recently, I had a client of mine who had some not ideal pearly whites, and I think it was the light. I don't even think it was her teeth, because sometimes it happens to me also. And it's an easy hack, and I wanted to show you guys right now. So first, I'm gonna use this photo as an example this video as an example, then I'll show you guys how I actually use it on my recent podcast episode. First things first, you're going to want to make sure everything's color graded and you have that already taken care of. You're going to going to go over to the this tab right here, your video, your video effects browser, and you're going to type in hue saturation curves. And this guy will pop up right here. What you're going to do is you're going to put that onto the footage. Up to the top right, you're going to notice that we have this icon right here, which we are going to click and you're going to see all these different things. The first thing you want to focus on is hue versus saturation. So we're going to come over to this eye droplet and we're going to select our teeth. You're going to see that there is a dot right here. So it's three dots. You had two. Now you have three. When the dot was created with that marker, we're going to move over to the middle right here between the far right and the one that was created and we're going to create our own by simply clicking the left mouse there you'll see a dot what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to bring it down all the way just bring it down all the way down straight down once we have that we're going to come up top on where it says hue saturation curves and we're going to apply a shape mask to it and we're going to add shape mask then we're going to hover over and we are going to fit the mouth as much as possible. Once we have that, we're going to come over to the Hue versus Luma and we're going to select this eye droplet and then we're going to select the teeth. Now you're going to see the dot be created in the middle, but we're going to actually raise this higher. And as you can see, it has whitened our teeth substantially. You don't wanna to go too crazy now. Don't put too much of the white, just give it a nice little hint of white. And that's awesome. Now, as you can see, now, as you can see, there's a little bit feathering around the teeth, which we, we might wanna fix. So we're gonna, cause if we go overboard, you can see like a white over the mouth when we just really want to focus on the teeth. Now, the good thing about this too is we can also keyframe. So if you have most of that talking head styles, hopefully for you, the client or whoever you film the subject is sitting or standing in, in a spot where they're not moving too much. However, you might have this instance where the mouth closes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a keyframe. You can do that by selecting the shape mask right here and you're going to see this plus sign. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. We're going to hit the plus sign. And then from there, we're going to hit the right arrow key and just move it all around so that it is tracking his or her teeth throughout the whole duration. And there goes that. Now I could have did a little bit better because as you can see, there's a little bit more I could have adjusted, but that's pretty much it. So we went from this to this big difference. Now that's one way to show it. Now I also have did this for my podcast and I recently did this for a recent episode. Now my teeth, they suffer from a lot of smoking and I'm suffering for it now. And here's what it looks like before. Here's my podcast episode now. This is what it looks like after. I did not add a keyframe to this because this was like a 12 minute podcast episode and I stayed within the same 
area so I didn't have to do too much. That's always the ideal outcome. First, what we're going to want to do, we're going to do the same thing. Grab our hue saturation curves and place it on. We're going to click this link right here and we are going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what we got going on. Again, nothing too crazy, but I just want that extra confidence of white. I'm going to select it. We're going to add a point right here. And we're going to go down. Looks better already, if you ask me. Then we're going to come up. We're going to add a shape mask. And we are going to bring that down and around to the mouth area so it can focus in that area. This is pretty much the constraints of where my mouth is and where my teeth are. So we're going to stay within this area. That looks really good right there. Then we're going to come to Hue versus Luma. We're going to select one of our teeth. And we're going to pearl that up. Again, that's a little too much. Use your own judgment. I don't need nothing too wild. I, 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 I didn't get the veneer surgery yet, okay? That's probably in my next act of life. However, we can get away with something like this. I'm satisfied. I'm I'm looking pearly right now. Like this is this is lit right now. So I'm gonna go about right here. Oh yeah, we in the game, baby. That's the hack on how to get a more confident, a more white, vibrant smile on camera. Not only to boost whether you use it for yourself, but also a lot of your clients or people you may be filming as subjects. If you need to give it that extra white hint, this is the easiest simplest way to do so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you smash that like button drop in the comments below of what more final cut pro 10 tutorials you guys want and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you never miss another video now go ignite the world